Okay, guys. I thought I'd make a video about uh, scavenging. Let's say, and, and I don't think personally, um, if shit hit the fan, I don't think it'd be that bad. I don't think we're looking at a Mad Max type scenario. But, um, you know, I get asked these questions, so I'm going to answer them. But, uh, you know, if it did, I'd imagine if you have your preps in line, especially water, that's a big one, right? Then you, you'll probably be okay. It seems to me that a lot of preppers overlook water. So, if you have tons of water, right, and other people don't, or they drink contaminated water, that's going to be a lot of supplies out there that you're going to wind up finding, you know, if you, it got really that bad, you know. I mean, put it this way. Let's just look at, like, The, the Walking Dead, right, for example, here. When, uh, when all these survivors in this post-apocalyptic world go into a home or something, right, the families are dead. And if they take clothes or they take whatever canned food they may find, no matter how old it's been, or shoes or something, Right? Are they really doing anything wrong? Is it really bad? I wouldn't think so. I mean, to me, the survivors are going to benefit a lot more than the family who owns that stuff. Or owned it, right? It's going to benefit the living a lot more than the dead. So, if it was a shit hit the fan scenario, I'd say if you were to put aside important things like water, you know, that's the most important, then you'd be around to scavenge later so you'd probably find some stuff in people's homes you'd find uh, guys out there that probably dehydrate of, of uh, just dehydrate out carrying something around in the sun no water right so you'd probably find guns and ammo maybe some food because you really can't eat you can't digest anything without water so they probably you know you lose uh, your your hunger actually after a while uh, but you know I don't think scavenging or, or really looting I don't know if it would be looting in that kind of scenario I don't think it's going to be a Mad Max scenario if things did get pretty bad but you know like I said I'm going to answer the question and no I don't think looting would be bad in that kind of scenario if it got that bad right if, if I'm gone if something happens to me and my family well then if there's another family passing through and they find my home and they find my supplies well hey man more power to them you know at least it helps somebody out I mean I prefer it be me and I'm gonna try like hell that it's me and my family but let's say something happened to us right um, well then at least it'll benefit somebody it's gonna do a lot more good to the living than the dead right again I don't see that happening but just to make my point again if it did, that would be my two cents on it, right? If I'm out in the middle of nowhere, let's say you don't have that much money for, for you know, equipment or something like that, you know, body armor, you really want some, but you can't afford it, or, you know, you want an AR-15, but you, you know, you can't afford it, so you get something else, you probably get that AR-15 if you're smart enough to prep food and water and, you know, little medical supplies, a good amount of water, right? then you'll probably find it laying around if it got that bad anyway. And I don't think there'd be anything wrong with taking advantage of it. I mean, because if you don't, let's say uh, you find some guy, he's just, he keeled over, he died of dehydration, and he's got guns and ammo on him. Well, you take it, or maybe somebody up to no good is going to pass by him and take it and then maybe use it against you. You never know. Anyway, um, in that kind of scenario, I don't see scavenging as scavenging. I'd see scavenging as survival or a way of life. If it ever got that bad, which I doubt. Anyway, that's it for me. Y'all have a good one.